Is Dan Bilzerian just a liar? There's no doubt we love the Instagram famous Playboy, but is he the self-made man he claims to be? At first glance, actor, poker player, and Instagram sensation Dan Bilzerian seems to be sitting in the lap of luxury. His 32 million social media followers are often treated to photos of Blitz and his hedonistic lifestyle. Most of his photos involve bikini-clad beauties, beaches, private jets, the symbols of a never-ending party to which none of us are invited. Of course, Bilzerian doesn't hold back from bragging about his wealth. His photos, stories, and forthcoming book indicate a man with endless resources and the free time to enjoy all the things that they can buy. If you ask him, he'll tell you he made his money the old-fashioned way, playing high-stakes poker and winning a load of bets with friends. According to reports, he even challenged Tom Goldstein to a race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, netting a cool $385,000 after winning. However, while the fact that Bilzerian is the man with everything is not in dispute, how he got his hands on his money is. In fact, in recent years, Bilzerian's insistence that he is a self-made man has come under a bit of scrutiny. For starters, many expert poker players began expressing criticism that Dan just wasn't that good of a player. When asked whether or not he could possibly have accumulated his millions off of his card skills alone, many offered an emphatic no. As rumors began to swirl, a few internet detectives went on a hunt to track down the true source of Mr. Bilzerian's fortune. It wasn't long before they discovered that Dan's father, Paul Bilzerian, had served times in prison for crimes associated with corporate raiding, a hostile takeover technique that is unethical at best and illegal at worst. In fact, Mr. Bilzerian Sr. was ordered to pay $62 million for securities fraud, but only ended up ever paying 3.7. So what happened to the rest of his fortune? Though evidence remains scarce, it's possible that Paul Bilzerian utilized a series of offshore trusts to hide the majority of his assets. It certainly didn't disappear into thin air. Another thing that's certain is that Dan Bilzerian is about as talented at running businesses as he is at playing poker, casting doubt on his ability to earn a living through his corporate endeavors. Recently, information has come to light showing that Bilzerian has been using his business, Ignite, as his own personal piggy bank. This past year, the Canadian-based company reported a loss of around $50 million USD. Unsurprisingly, chief among the reasons stated for the financial damage was the company's need to finance Bilzerian's lifestyle. According to records, Ignite's expenses included a $200,000 rent payment on Bilzerian's mansion as well as money for flights, yachts, and all those bikini-clad models for his Instagram. Moreover, according to a number of sources, lawsuits are on their way. With news quickly spreading that Bilzerian is not only a trust fund baby with few applicable skills, but in financial and legal hot water as well, many online personalities have begun to celebrate his inevitable downfall. Perhaps this is because they dislike him as a person, or merely dislike his macho, misogynistic persona. Maybe they just want to steal his followers. Who's to say? However, a deeper question remains. Does it really matter where Bilzerian got his money if he was able to sell us on an illusion so successfully? Moreover, even if the man is indicted and punished for his crimes, will that illusion remain? When I said that Dan Bilzerian had no applicable skills, this wasn't entirely true. His one astounding ability seems to be the capacity to create convincing illusions for men and women worldwide. After all, this is a man who lives the life that men young and old dream about, a life free of consequences and made up of only rewards. Though Bilzerian's track record is much longer, his story isn't far off from Fire Festival founder Bill McFarland's. He similarly wasted his money and time on huge parties, beautiful women, and instant gratification. When the time came, he was so addicted to the lifestyle that he was willing to con the entire music festival world for just a few more months of fun. In the end, Dan Bilzerian didn't get 32 million Instagram followers because of who he tells us he is or how he says he got his money. Those people worship him because they are unfulfilled, 
and he represents the hedonistic rewards that await just around the corner, providing they play their cards right. In his book, Empire of Illusion, The End of Literacy and the Triumph of Spectacle, Chris Hedges writes, Our fantasies of fame, success, and of fulfillment are projected onto celebrities. These impossible illusions inspired by celebrity culture and our insignificant individual achievements, however, eventually lead to frustration, anger, insecurity, and invalidation. It drives the frustrated, alienated individual away from reality, back towards the empty promises of those who seduce us, who tell us what we want to hear. You see, Dan Bilzerian's fame didn't come from his money or his yachts or his models. It came from his fans and their deep-seated need for illusion. All of the women and toys were merely props that he could set up in front of his audience, helping him draw them in over and over again. Ultimately, should Bilzerian go to prison, lose all of his money, or fall out of his private jet, the system of values he used to build himself up will remain. It will only be a matter of time before someone else takes the mantle of King of Instagram. So, is Dan Bilzerian a liar? Almost certainly. However, the real question is whether we live in a society where lying yourself to fame is something to be reviled or commended.